Hello friends, so today I will be talking about software called Sorma. I will try to mention certain things which might be helpful to you to prepare your lectures. So well, before starting I would like to thank Roland for teaching me all these things. So all that I will be talking about in this video is something which Roland taught me. Good. So let's get started. So here is the Sorna. Well, I'd like to mention that the version I'm using is 1.1.0. Let me see. Plus dev. Okay, this is the version I'm using. So as Roland mentioned, I guess with other versions, these functionalities might not work. Let's start with thing. Okay, good. So in order to do all this thing, you'll be needing graph background. Okay, which you can settle like this. You just go to Sorna. You go to paper background and you select graphs. Okay, good. Now let's get started. So this functionality is namely rotational grid, rotational grid and snapping grid. I suppose will work only in this background as far as I know ok so let's start with snapping grid so you select snapping grid you consider whatsoever shape you want to build ok so select angle good so you 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 just drew rectangle just that I did not select snapping grid so once I sele select what will happen it will go I mean points by points of lattices okay here if you see if I did not select grid snapping grid you might start start your rectangle at any point of the plane once you start uh, start doing it after selecting snapping grid you can move yourself within the points of the lattice okay grid yeah so well you can play with it you can draw circle yeah you can see it sort of restrict itself to the grid okay good let's make some more circles good fine let's try to do some arrows yeah see it goes from grid point to grid point. Now let's try to do without grid, okay? Then you will see that I can stop anywhere, you see? See, I started anywhere. This is not grid point and this is not grid point, okay? So in case you want to restrict yourself to grid point, start selecting snapping grid, okay? Good. Let's try to do some more. Okay, let's try to do some lines, okay? Good line now if I select grid so grid point to grid point good let's try to do some coordinate system x y ok what else we can do some splines That's it. Good. Now what we might like to do is suppose I drew this thing, I wanna I wanna move it to some other place. Then you can do the following. You just go to this place, select a rectangle, okay, and just move it. Yeah. Good. You might like to move this line. Just do like this. You might like to rotate it like this okay you can see that rotation is very smooth okay you can stop wherever you okay good now this can be done for any shape okay say so this guy I wanna move I can rotate it I can move it 
I can move it. Good. Good. I can reshape it. Fine. Good. But as well, this also is something interesting that if you want to make some space, you can make. Yeah. Suppose you want to write something between these figures, then you just do this thing. You go here, you say, oops, and you to dislike it. And do. You say hi. Okay? Good. Now, what else? Let's try to use this functionality rotation grid, okay? In order to use this thing, you just activate it. Yeah. Let me deactivate this thing. Good. Now what I can do is I can do some arrows. Okay. So what it does is it will rotate the thing by 15 degree or 45. Okay. This is the thing. You might like to do some lines. Okay. Now uh, you might like to activate this too. Fine. So this is the way you can play with these things. Well, if you already drew the line and you want to rotate it, you can do the following. Just select the line. Okay. Then you just rotate it. Yeah. You see, this is not smooth rotation, you see. This is like 45 degrees at every move. Okay, if you want to do it smooth, then you just deselect it. Okay, you do this thing. The smooth rotation. Okay. Good. Oh, this is all I guess I wanted to say. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you so much and would like to thanks once again Roland for teaching me all this. Thanks a lot. I hope this will be useful to you guys. Thanks for watching the video.